Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, now has a new AMD, and the industry has termed it as a square peg in a square hole. Today is the handover ceremony. It was quite an emotional moment. So you have Captain Yadudu, the former managing director, speak about the achievements during his team, where they were before and where they are now, which I think people should really listen to. You know, one thing that really got me in his speech is when he said that always be of a help to anybody that you come across in life because you don't ever know where you're going to meet that person tomorrow. And he spoke glowingly about the incoming Indy. I think he mentored him as well, so he knew him. He is so proud of him. And also in this video, you're going to see him when they switch chairs after he finished the speech, they exchange the seats. I didn't know that's how it has been done. Aside from handing over the Parisa tattoo, the new MD, he said he's also handing him over the pen that he used to sign. So eventually they sign and exchange the seats and that's it. So the industry, directors, media people were all there to witness the airport making moments. And then to the outgoing MD, I said to you, thank you very much for all your contributions to the nation. very happy and uh, glad to look back and see that during the course of the last four years there is no scar or fun that has come to us for anything support consideration collaboration cooperation that we found out so good or bad lazy or active we supported every staff who were there to nurture and groom and help people to achieve their potential and in that respect we give thanks to God that 100% we have not left anybody behind. Very important. Uh, secondly, we solve problems. Problems are solved in offices, student engagements. And there's no stakeholder that came to find in the last four years with a very practical or reasonable request or need for support that he didn't get. It. I told them 100 and nobody so far in the last four years has been able to prove us otherwise. And that is the second count. And even during COVID, when we had to train thousands of people to prepare themselves to cater for our stakeholders during the COVID pandemic, everyone is agreeing that when fun opened up, everyone appreciated it. And right now, we don't have that sensitization or anxiety about people coming to us learning what we are doing. We want them to come. Uh, thirdly, the mentality, the attitude to work has changed. The only thing we need to have more is the percentage of our personnel that are actively engaged in this type of uh, contribution to the organization. There's widespread knowledge, there's widespread awareness, but we need much more participation in each and every unit. And that's why today it contributed to my happiness saying that we came here, we made the place, and we worked with everyone, and thank God, all the personnel responded. We tried to make sure we engineer an attitudinal change. Our personnel came out and we brought fun to the world. We used to be reclusive. We didn't want people to see what we were doing. The regulators had difficulty penetrating to see what is going on. We couldn't get much help. But we came, we engineered that change, and now we have a lot of instructors, a lot of very competent and proficient personnel that are capable of instructing and even teaching outside Nigeria. We spent four years training and engineering this very positive change. Apart from that, and this is the most important for me, because the personnel now can do a lot on themselves, they can understand a lot, and in the last two years we've been receiving a lot of very positive uh, feedback from instructors and experienced resource persons across the world that uh, fan staff are very, very intelligent, very, very hardworking and receptive to new information and knowledge. And that's the most important. And then, of course, there's the one that everyone can see, improvements in terms of our physical assets. Across Nigeria, there's no airport that's not undergoing a major expansion or improvement on the airfield or the pavement or the taxiways or the land side. And then there's the improvement and replacement of key equipment across the airport, baggage handling system, uh, disabled Accra recovery, me, training uh, machines, air conditioning system, all across the airport will have this uh, very old and redundant equipment. Travelators, escalators and lifts. 
almost 90 percent have been replaced. These are equipment that have been here for almost 43 years. Now, within the last five or six years, replaced across Nigeria. And then there is also the actual recognition we'll be receiving. This recognition we'll be receiving from across the international community. I think it's a testament that what I just told you, the world has seen and the world is agreeing. I believe that uh, the awards we got from ASI Africa, from ICAO, from IATA, all over in terms of our personnel and our equipment and our processes is very important. It's a testament that somehow, somewhere, FAN has been doing the right things the right way. In conclusion, all that I've listed so far will not have happened without the full support and collaboration and cooperation of the Honorable Minister of Aviation, uh, Senator Sanchez Wope Sirica. He did a lot for us, he made it possible. Of course, if you notice, the current managing director, because he was a general manager for a long time, and then the regional general manager, so all the accolades are left upon the management team. He has been a very strong and uh, proactive participant and contributor. He solved a lot of our problems when he was at the ministry. When he was the general manager special duties in my office, he did very well. In fact, it was purely on my recommendation, just having because we know him to be a hard worker. The general manager of this airport, when we brought him here, we knew we, need, we needed somebody after Sandy left. We needed somebody to also continue on his good work, somebody also very experienced. Yeah. And we brought him. And from that time, anytime we meet, the doctors will tell you we see a lot of very important and decisive uh, steps taken to help with uh, all our challenges. And this airport is much better than it is. So, clearly, he has a track record, he has the credentials, and he has the capability, and he has the intelligence and the wisdom. Uh, what we need to pray for him now is may all that has been doing so well, so positively, so proactively, <coughs> may that continue to happen with him. <laughs> may God grant him the wisdom and the peace to carry us on his shoulder, because I say us, including me, I'm still here. <laughs> Just granting the wisdom and the peace, and the tenacity to bear his Lord in peace. And I say in peace because there will be a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. To manage one for one month and survive if you can work. So for him to bear the naturally that pressure, but he is to pressure. But we want him to sustain that thing until the day that clearly and hopefully one day he will also come here and sit down and peacefully and happily and over the days of control to another well-deserving individual. May uh, God answer all our prayers. Long live the Republic of Nigeria, long live Pan, and you love all of us. Remember, as I conclude, that uh, among all of us here, many years ago, nobody knew Kabiri would be MD fan. No one expected me to even fly, let alone be MD fan. So this is a prospect for all of us. As we are standing here, maybe there will be future ministers of aviation. We will never know. There will be future ministers for another agency who will never know. I heard that some ministers now were once at fun, but now they are ministers from There might be a future president. So when you see somebody progressing in life, wishing well, your time will come.